Hello YouTube viewers, this is your friend Jay Feelgood. A long time no see or here or YouTube, you know what I mean. Uh, just a short video on my recent hauls. Uh, I got some double pack Walmart exclusive, some weight 13, some Minton cards, and right here my pride and joy is the my Two Face Custom. Now I didn't do this myself because I am not a customizer and uh, my only regrets that I didn't make a video when I got them and I have them for over two weeks already and I know it's already catching popularity to customize a Two-Face but it's all good right that's what we're here for on YouTube to give each other ideas and support each other but uh, this one was made by my friend uh, 2006 TJS and uh, you know thanks Ben for making this custom for me I owe you big time dude and you know Thanks for being there for me, buddy. Uh, the paint scheme was uh, simple. I told him to leave this colored stock because I wanted this to represent his evil side, his two-faced side. And I told him to paint this color blue and black, which he did. He put a shiny black, a flat black. I could see a blue and a suede blue color in there. And this represents his uh, human side. I wanted it to be, you know, even two sides that way I could pose them differently and I left the tie alone because I didn't want no division there so this is my pride and joy of my haul and TJ thanks a lot man you're awesome dude and I got some uh, Wave 13 I got Cheetah the classic classic mode yeah whatever you want to call it costume whatever uh, she's pretty cool she doesn't stand up real well I'll review these guys later. This is just to just my recent haul video. Donna Troy. I think this is a beautiful figure. Finally got a young looking uh, Wonder Woman type. Beautiful figure. Uh, these guys are probably the one of the most two famous ones out of the full wave. 13, Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes with a scarab on the back, the double joints. Now I understood what the whole fuss was about. I remember when uh, the Grim Glory reviewed him. I fell in love with that character right away with Blue Beetle. We got the uh, Superboy. And this guy, I love that biker jacket, the short leather jacket. Looks realistic. Awesome figure. But yeah, what we fear, that's what exactly what I feared is he was going to be a short figure. Oh well. That's pretty cool. I got some um, the Walmart double packs. I haven't opened this one yet, but um, I like it. I like the paint scheme and everything, but I'm Black Manta. Any customizer could make this guy. Just use some bright suede blue and anybody could make them. Undersea Assault. I need to make a review on these guys, which I probably will do, if not today, tomorrow. And I also got the Batman and Robin Dynamic Duel. Uh, my buddy and I were talking on the phone last time and we were not happy that he did not have a staff or a batarang Robin, but oh well, but Walmart is known for that guys. Walmart is known for um, their exclusive not to put a lot of accessories It was a miracle that the Joker got a lot of them though on the Wave 10. I have an open packages to show you Robin right here real quick That's Robin And I have a Batman, so of course. And this is the same Batman from the Toys R Us superheroes line, the Way 12. It's got that uh, large bat symbol on the chest. This guy did come with an accessory, a batarang, the same batarang from the Batman from Way 10. Uh, the other thing I got was a cheetah mint on card. Um, I'm, I'm, I, every time I get a figure, I'm always debating to open it or not. I'm probably, I am gonna open it. But here she is on her modern suit, costume, whatever, version. Awesome figure. This is, I'm thinking this is Starfire mode. The mold for Starfire. She's even got the same hairstyle and everything. She's got a tail. Good detail in the face, though. I like that figure. And my other second bright and joy whatever this guy was horrible for me to get went through a lot of trouble to get this guy 
I bought them from Malaysia for 90 bucks. Never got it. Argued with the seller until like, he gave me a refund, and I finally bought him here in the USA. 80 bucks I paid for this guy, and I should be more excited, but I'm not. This guy has frustrated me for what is it, two years now? Came out in 2008, and now about a year ago, around there. And then um, I never, never in never ever saw a wave eight or nine figures in walmart's my local targets did not carry these guys uh, toys r us did not carry these guys i remember i used to see them on ebay for twenty dollars and i never got them i thought it was too expensive i ended up paying eighty dollars for them so again just lower torso and head and mini on them i already had a mini on them I bought them on ebay i really don't know don't know if i should open this guy or not I know Giganta's lower torso, I mean middle torso, whatever this is, and her head sell like for $56, $70, Denim and Ghost goes up to like $36, Mini Autumn, probably 10 to 15 bucks. I need to open this package, but I'm, oh gosh, I'm just debating, the you guys tell me what to do, should I open it, should I review it, you guys tell me. Uh, look out for my videos, to keep an eye on my videos, I'm going to review the double packs. I'll probably review this guy too. And um, finally completed wave one through twelve. Finally got all the figures. Uh, TJ, thanks for helping me out, man. Uh, finally got all the double packs and the superheroes, all of them. So let me know if you guys want me to review any of those guys. Uh, keep in touch, guys, and uh, thanks. I hit 79 subscribers, which I never thought I would be, but I did. I want to thank every single one of you and all my friends. Thank you for keeping in touch. You know, thanks, guys. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. Um, let me know. If you guys want me to do a certain video and anything. Shout out to all of you guys, okay? Uh, thank you for being friendly and subscribed. God bless you guys.